Hello! Welcome to just a random video that I decided to do. I'll probably count this as a vlog. I've been promising doing this video for a year now. And between not having motivation and not having time to do it and not having motivation... Um... I've not gotten around to it. But I finally got around to it. I've spent the last half hour... Writing on 25 index cards, 25 random facts about me. You may know some. You may not know some. This is something, honestly, for the folks that have subscribed recently. Because I see y'all subscribing to me. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to list off 25 random facts about myself. Starting with... I've been living in Ohio now since 2007. In my 38 years of life, this is the longest that I've ever lived in one city. I've been in Sandusky, Ohio since October 1st, 2007. It is, as of right now, March 2nd, 2020, and I'm still here. This is the longest I've ever lived in one city. Uh, number two, my favorite foods are lasagna and cheesecake. That's right. I love me some lasagna and I love me some cheesecake. Uh, number three, the first video game I ever finished from start to finish was Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. Uh, to go along with that, the first video game I ever fully completed 100% was Sonic 3. Not Sonic 3 and Knuckles, just Sonic 3 for the Sega Genesis. Uh, number four, up until her passing, I had a huge crush on Carrie Fisher. Yeah, I did. I'm not even going to deny it. I thought she was gorgeous. Uh, number five, <laughs> my current ringtone is the theme to Critical Role. Uh, just do a Google, just do a search on YouTube for Critical Role intro. That's Critical, C-R-I-T-I-C-A-L. R-O-L-E intro, you'll hear it. Factoid number six. Um, <clears throat> I used to do a very good impression of Steve Urkel. Uh, for those of you who don't know who that is, Steve Urkel is one of the main characters on the old ABC and CBS sitcom Family Matters, played by Jaleel White, who is currently known for the hell does he do nowadays? Uh, number seven. As of the time I'm recording this, I have never watched an entire episode of Game of Thrones, The Office, or Supernatural. I know those are three big shows, or at least they were at some time. Never watched a full episode of them. I've seen clips, but I've never watched. I've never sat down and watched them from start to finish. Number eight, while my favorite Pokemon is Porygon Z, my favorite Pokemon type is Metal. Yeah, I actually have plan. I actually have figured out in my head a team of like if I were a gym leader, I actually have a team of six Pokemon that I would use, all Metal types. Most of them are in Sword and Shield, being that there's no Mega Evolutions. Mega Mile is out of the question. <laughs> Uh, number nine, <clears throat> I once placed second in a Pokemon TCG tournament. To give you an idea on how long ago that was, Wizards of the Coast was still publishing the game. Wizards of the Coast hasn't published the game in a good 15 years now, at least. And that's how long ago it was. Factoid number 10, um... There have been about 110 pricing games on The Price is Right. You name one, I know the rules for it. I don't even have to look it up. It's a sad life. <laughs> uh, factoid number 11. My favorite colors are purple and green. Yes, I know my wall is blue. That's how it came. Factoid number 12. So there's a fan theory going around about Super Mario Brothers. The fan theory is that Bowser and Peach are actually in a relationship, and it's a very kinky one. 
and Mario's just too stupid to figure it out. That's why he's always rescuing her and somehow Peach always gets kidnapped again. I fully back that theory. Number 13. Um, so the WW, the WWE became the name of the company in 2002. In I think May of 2000, it was in spring of 2002. After they lost a lawsuit to the World Wildlife Fund. It wasn't until 2004 that I actually fully started calling it the WWE. I was still calling it the WWF until then. Factoid number 14. Back before Discovery. Back before Picard. I actually marathoned over, I want to say, a four-month period the entirety of Star Trek in the order that it takes place chronologically. Not in the order of release, in the order that it takes place chronologically. So I went Enterprise, the original series, the animated series, next-gen DS9 Voyager. Because TNG, DS9, and Voyager kind of took place roughly at about the same time, I would watch the one that started the earliest and then just watch that one in its com completion and then I'd go to the next one and then the next one. Uh, factoid number 15, I hate cologne. I'm not allergic to cologne. I don't, I just don't like the smell of cologne because like I've got a very sensitive nose and I have never smelled what I think is an appropriate amount of cologne on somebody they either are just like wearing it so weak you could you think they're wearing deodorant or they're bathed in it and i can't handle that uh factoid number 16 so speaking of pokemon like i said i wrote these down in just any order that i thought of them speaking of pokemon pokemon's been out for 24 years now who lord I have only ever finished three Pokedexes in their entirety. The Red and Blue Pokedex, the Let's Go Pokedex, the Sword and Shield Pokedex. Yeah, pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> Factoid number 17. I went three years without caffeine once. No coffee, no caffeinated beverages, nothing. Um... I started drinking coffee again after I started working at the shelter because I work third shift and I kind of needed to stay awake. I mean, I'm not going to fall asleep on my shift, but it's just this way it keeps my higher brain functioning or my higher brain function still working until I get off work at 830 in the morning. So that way I can zombie walk home and go to bed. Factoid number 18. My favorite D&D campaign setting is Eberron. I love the steampunk's feel. I love the steampunky feel of it. My least favorite D&D setting, Forgotten Realms. Cuz it's like you can't sneeze without hitting a god. <clears throat> factoid, <clears throat> excuse me, factoid number 19, I can actually touch the tip of my nose with my tongue. I'm not going to demonstrate it. If you want to know, blow blow up my Twitter. And I'll post a picture of it on there. But I can do it, I swear. Factoid number 20. I have only ever been to one sporting event live. And just to give you an idea of how long ago it was, I was in fifth grade. And the Montreal Expos were still a baseball team. I went to a Phillies Expos game in Montreal. The Phillies won two to nothing, I do believe, was the final score. Uh, factoid number 2001 or 21. Ooh, I'm only doing 25 facts, not 2000 facts. Factoid number 21. I have only ever cosplayed one time and it was for Colossal Con 2018. I have a Jedi costume that I wore. I wore it sometimes on Halloween. Um, I'll remember that day like, like, like it, like it was just yesterday because it was, because I went to a photo shoot. It was probably 90 degrees outside. 
I'm wearing 20 pounds of brown and tan fabric. I thought I was going to pass out. Factoid number 22, I own seven different versions of Monopoly. Nine, if you count the fact that I also own the Switch and the Xbox One versions of Monopoly. Yeah, it's a lot of Monopoly. <laughs> fact number 23, my date of birth is March 20th, 1981. The month and day, March 20, I actually share that birthday with Mr. Rogers. How did I end up nothing like him? <laughs> Fact number 24, the first computer I ever owned was back in 1994. It was a Macintosh Performa 550. Just to give you an idea on how old we're talking, that computer had 10 megabytes of RAM. Megabytes. You can't even get a flash card, or at least I've never, I've not even seen an SD card with less than like four meg, four gigabytes on it. And lastly, but not leastly, this is a very simple one. I have an obsession with dice. I own almost 50 sets of dice between Dungeons and Dragons, Legend of the Five Rings, and Vampire the Masquerade. I've actually posted a video on... Twitter and Instagram of all my dice. And that was still a while ago. I've gotten more dice since then. So there you go. That is 25 facts about me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Peace.